Good morning, everybody. So today I have a really exciting topic. And by the way, today is Friday, so happy Friday. We made it through the week. And those of you who work Saturday, one more day, right? You're almost there. So today's topic is uh, a little different and it has a lot of meaning because um, through our finances, you know, we learned how to handle money and basically like your behavior depends on your financial situation. I mean, it's cut and dry, right? So uh, finances is really, you know, 80% about doing and really only takes about 20% head knowledge or but everybody kind of knows that it's intentionality. It's what you do with your money that really uh, will determine whether or not you'll be poor or rich really it's the decisions that you make and it's how you handle that money right so let's talk about uh, outsourcing your life um, so when we talk about outsourcing your life you're paying to do something like your uh, <laughs> paying money to watch TV to watch golf why watch golf go play golf it's like we're paying to have an experience or escape the life that we live through something else which doesn't make any sense that's not how life works that's not what we should really be doing like we pay somebody to go watch you know we pay to go watch basketball so instead of watch you know NBA why don't we go get some buddies together and go play basketball or you sit in front of the TV and watch a fishing show when you could be going fishing does that make sense it's like we're outsourcing our life for experiences and we pay for that we pay for that experience so it's crazy and you know we think about these things all the time it's like okay so you spent money to go watch a romantic movie of you know people having a, a romantic date when when you could go and take your wife out and take her on a romantic dinner and date and you know have great conversation right it's you know I don't know it's like our people's lives are missing so much so this day and age addiction level behaviors are like through the roof we have uh, gambling gambling in America is number one addiction yeah it it outweighs any you know drug addiction uh, sex addiction uh, pornography gambling addiction is number one and I can attest we've gotten in some trouble uh, due to gambling as well but we're not doing that anymore you have to change the behavior to change your life so uh, it's you know it's like we're paying for um, an experience instead of making life experiences I hope this makes sense so and all of these behaviors are actually tied into money huge money you know it's like uh people say oh i, I want to save for a house but they can't stop you know buying scratch off tickets or they want to uh quit smoking but <laughs> they buy cartons and cartons of cigarettes every week uh, you have to change the behavior to change uh, to change your life to really make a change uh, so <laughs> you know oh gosh it's it's crazy we are outsourcing our lives for experiences trying to escape when we're not really going anywhere and the number oh by the way the number two um, addiction is pornography you know back in the day you know your uncle had you know playboys in the closet and that was you know the extent of it as a little boy you know you you know took a peek uh, it's not like that anymore everywhere you look even if you google a word there will be triple X ads uh, you know you guys know what I'm talking about you go google something and you know something about 
you know genitalia and that always comes up it's crazy so number two ad addiction uh, behavior is pornography it's everywhere you can't really escape it and even in TV shows and movies there's you know sex scenes and intimate scenes everywhere so but the key is is how you handle your finances um, is based on your behavior whether or not you will be poor or uh, be well off and taking care of business so it's very important so addiction level behaviors uh, will lead you broke literally they will I can attest you know if you gamble too much you know it will lead you broke and uh, so uh, <clears throat> you can pay for an experience you know football uh, NBA whatever you know it's I'm not saying that you not to do it but why pay to wear somebody else's jersey when you can get a bunch of your buddies together and you know put your own name on the back of your own jersey and play on the weekends start a league you know it's about doing your own life experiences making your own life experiences maybe the best time of your life you just don't know so I just want to leave you leave you guys with that I thought that was very interesting we are outsourcing our lives by trying to escape something it's very interesting how um, all that ties together uh, with your finances literally because we are paying for the experience when we aren't doing any experiencing ourselves I just thought that was really interesting something to think about all right, guys, have a great weekend, and we'll catch you on the next one.